bit more balance to go for the sevens and above. Still very tight. Her leader is Lauren Halasaka, 48.3 at the moment. Now Emma Gullstrand of Sweden. Saw her going through her routine in the corridor earlier on. Inward one and a half again. And uh, we have one more of those before the end of this round. The 19-year-old uh, from Sweden. Yeah, very nice from Emma. I think we saw this morning how strong she is. She makes the dives with ease on one meter, and as you can see there, she finishes miles above the board and then gets a great rip in. Yeah, that's the, be, best. Um, yeah that's the best by quite some way, isn't it? 52.80. Mm -hmm. She's going to be up there challenging, but six and a half, you can't grumble with that too much. Uh, takes her into an advanced position. Now, is she going to be the surprise packet of the afternoon, or is, indeed, is she a surprise packet? Emma mm. Gullstrand, because she is an international diver, of course. Uh, she has got a big dive to come next. Not this one. This is her lowest tariff dive of the program. Back one and a half, but she had a very solid start with that inward one and a half. Yeah, similar to this morning. Not quite as clean on the entry as this morning. She's, she goes so high up in the air, she just makes it a little slow to control it. Then the entry is bang up right, but I don't think it's going to score quite as highly as this morning. No, it doesn't. Uh, 51.75 she got this morning. 48.30 she gets. Quite there. That might be her medal chances scuppered. We'll see. She's got two big dives at the end, but uh, this mm. is the one we're waiting to see whether she can perform this is it the, This is the big one. This one I'm excited to see. 3.0 reverse. Two and a half somersaults. Way bigger than anybody else's dive in this competition. Got it terribly wrong this morning. Gets it right tonight. She could well be the champion. Of course, she can't be British champion because she's Swedish. Good hurdle step. Oh, it's better than this morning. Much better than this morning. It looks like it, it's one of those dives that she went and get a little bit toes over again. So it's just that hurdle step is so, so important when you're doing these big dives because you need every single bit of height that you could possibly get. So if you're a little bit toes over like that and, and it Makes you cut off a little bit. It's just a shame that she hasn't showed the form that got her to be a junior European champion last year. Emma Goldstrand, the only serious contender, I think, to uh, the top two at this stage. And again, as a lot of them are doing in round four, it's the Ford four and a half. There's, there's two and a half, rather. <laughs> that would be quite <laughs> quite dramatic off the one meter ball. The Ford four and a half is the Ford two and a half. <laughs> yeah, very nice game from Emma. You can see how strong she is. She goes so high off that board, up above the three metre. Yeah, she just needs to be a little bit more confident on that end, get nice and straight through the water to get a good rip entry. Six, six and a half, six, near that 50 point mark. But we all know her quality from last year. Eight points worse off. Now, Emma Goldstrand, second place. Again, the dive that we saw from Oh, do we, we haven't actually no four one and a half two twists. We haven't mm. seen this one. Puts the pressure on. See if she can put the pressure on Yasmin. Mm. She has done, yeah. Really, really nice on the start again. Makes it look smooth, high. Just needed to chop on that end a little bit. You just see a little bit of splash thrown up. But again, the height is very impressive from her. Right, 50 two. points, two, four, three. It's going to be a close finish.